Hello, and welcome along to Greyhound Gold for another week. David Short and Brett Honey here with me. Hello, Brett. G'day, Shorty. Big weekend ahead. Really excited. It's all starting to heat up, isn't it? With preludes this week of the Perth Cup and Galaxy at Cannington. Really good Great Western final to look forward to Friday night at Mandra as well. Keen to get stuck in. Indeed. Let's go back to last Saturday night for our run of the week to kick things off. It was, of course, the Puppy Classic final. And from box number four, Sunset Frazier pings out, rolls to the top. Sunset Peppy sits in second position. Sunset Nightjar out wide on the track there, sitting in third. It gets messy through that first corner. And down the back, Sunset Frazier extends, holds the lead, Sunset Peppy chasing hard, Sunset Nightjar still there in third, bit of a gap back to the fourth dog, turning for home and Sunset Fraser just keeps on ticking up front, Sunset Peppy tries really hard but uh, not able to eat into that margin uh, it had to be content with second, Sunset Nightjar back there in third possession but it was all Sunset Fraser taking out the Puppy Classic final, 5.31 a new first split record if you don't mind 18.01, 29 and 67 margins one length by three and three quarters congratulations to dave hobby and connections excellent performance handed in by sunset frazier really set the race up made its own luck by zooming to the top and doing it from a barrier to box yeah he's fast really fast shorty and what's really good to see and it's one of those questions when you think about him now stepping up to you know perth cup company and the like there is how professional he was early he's not cutting over straight to the fence he's beginning well he's showing good muster 531 leads 99.99 percent of races and 1801 up the back um did channel a bit of sunset spitfire didn't he and um yeah that run home is going to get better and better you think with time so he is very good sunset frazier i thought the two um place getters pepe and nightjar i thought they were both good because those two greyhounds are probably better on the arm they've both broken 30 seconds pepe i thought was particularly good uh, it's pretty stiff to be trying to chase down 1801 up the back i would have thought so that was a good performance. It was a really good Puppy Classic final and it certainly lived up to the hype. Indeed. Uh, let's get into finding some winners for you for this upcoming weekend. Kicking off Friday night down there at Mandra. I'm going to make my best bet race five, number one, Ash the Flash, racing in stunning fashion of late. This looks to get a lovely map here. The ground drawn in box three likes to get right up the track and has good early pace. So should take care for f most of the outside division and that's going to leave room to operate for Ash the Flash off the inside draw. Long as it and the two don't tangle, Ash the Flash, I think, is going to get a lovely run. It find itself in a very prominent position through 100 metres of the race and from there Ash the Flash generally really finishes its races off well so just map wise I thought Ash the Flash uh, would run a great race looks uh, the BB on the card for me race five number one and earlier on in the night race one number two under she goes I uh, thought should be a little bit of value around that 350 to four dollar mark I would have thought racing in magnificent fashion at the moment and has never missed a place from box two so it's had seven starts from the checks three wins and four placings I don't think that'll change this week weekend ounce of luck it wins it at the very worst it's worth throwing in for a place into your multis there on friday night so race five number one race one number two for me on friday night at mandra who do you like brett yeah like you're thinking there shorty my best bet race eight number six who told tough i was really impressed with the performance last week first up uh, for a significant period of time uh, began horribly but ran home in 10:59. that's very quick uh on the run home i think Box six is going to suit. He is a dog that likes to use it a bit of the track and likes room to operate. There's not a lot of pace in boxes seven and eight. So I think with a better beginning, who to tough, we know how good he is. He made the Perth Cup final last year. So um, yeah, I think he's not that far off his best who to tough and he can show us there on Friday night. Uh, for a bit of value, I've actually gone with your best bet. Race five, number one, Ash the Flash. I don't think she'll be um, massive odds, but with a little bit twisted in the race, who so can sit, continues to go around at short odds, we might see a half decent price here. Same uh, reasons for you though, Shorty. Uh, a little bit twisted in three, likes to get up the track, only really has to deal with Leroy keeping early, does Ash the Flash, and even when she's found trouble in recent races, she's running home beautifully, she's much better in a field these days, um, now she's a bit more mature, and um, yeah, if she's somewhere near him, uh, come that final bend, she's going to be very, very hard to hold out. Race five, number one, Ash the Flash to go, race eight, number six, who told tough? On to Saturday night out there at Cannington, the Keith Harding final should be a beauty as well, the race that pays tribute to an absolute 
absolute star trainer from our industry in years gone by. It's always a race that the industry love to win. Uh, let's see if we can't find your winner on this program. I'm going to go to race 12, number one, Care Factor. Uh, this greyhound showed us uh, that it's really starting to work it all out last week. Ping from a middle draw, rolled to the top, and that was all they saw, 34 and 72. This week draws a very similar lineup and moves to box number one. I don't think that'll be... Uh, a deterrent, uh, it should be able to zoom to the top and running similar time will be very hard to beat. So stood out a bit that one, race 12, number one, Care Factor. And I'm going to go to the Keith Harding final for my value play with the old stager, Rippin Tomahawk, race six, number one. Now this Greyhound uh, has generally got a tremendous record when it draws the inside. Uh, it's not um, the sort of dog that's going to its very best, but it's not a million miles off it. And in a race like this, if it could land sort of uh, right up on top of the speed, it's generally a hard dog to get past. Uh, it's going to be at a reasonable price, and I thought it could give you a run for your money at a nice each way quote. So for me, a race 12, number one, Care Factor, and each way, race six, number one, Rippin Tomahawk. Cracking cars Saturday night. My best bet, race 11, number five, West on Booney. Uh, I like this step up to 600. No doubt we'll still see him in the Perth Cup heats. But uh, going in there fresh, he should be able to sit a lot more forward over 600 metres. He's got a very good record over this trip. Three from three with a PB of 34.62. Uh, that's winning this race. Um, the dog's drawn outside him. Haven't been beginning all that well in recent times. We know West on Booney's a bit better with a room to operate. So um, a middle draw and a small field really does suit uh, him here, so I'm expecting some big things from race 11, number 8, West on Booney. For a bit of value, I'm very keen here, Shorty, in the Galaxy Prelude. Uh, race 2, number 1, Sunset Louie. I know he didn't run any great times last week, but he's a greyhound that's far better drawn on the rail. Flying Freed has been going really well over 715 metres. She's got box two, but she likes to use a bit of the track, and there's plenty of speed outside her that's going to have to make her work. He's just going to be on the rail here. He's going to get the best run of all time, and he has run a decent PB over this trip, sort of getting down towards 42 seconds. So I'm really keen, and with the likes of Couch Surfer, Flying Freed, or a couple from over east coming over, he's going to be a really good price here, Sunset Louie. I think he's a huge chance. So race two, number one, Sunset Louie, to go race 11, number five, West on Booney. Bit of confidence there, Shorty, on Saturday night. Yeah, he was my best last week, and he didn't let us down. That was, of course, from box six. So he's well, better. That was suited. no fault of his own either. That early trouble, like he's once he got to the rail, you saw what he was capable of. It was huge late. He got the job done for us, so you can't do more than that. The other thing that's worth noting: the dog that you touched on, Flying Frieda, Sunset Louie actually ran down Flying Frieda in a heat of the Mandurah uh, Distance Championships uh, only three weeks ago. So that's good form. Stars are aligning, form. Shorty. Here Absolutely. we go. Absolutely. I can understand uh, your liking, at the very least, a place there for Sunset Louis on a Saturday night. He's drawn to perfection. Uh, good luck to everybody uh, that has got runners uh, heading into these features this upcoming weekend. Perth Cup just around the corner. Sandgrope are not far away either. It is a really exciting time in Greyhound Racing here in WA. Thanks, as always, for your company. We look forward to joining you again next week for our next edition of Greyhound Gold.